So chances are, if you've ever worked on a B2B or a lead generation website, you've probably come across this issue. And when you look to fill out a form to sign up as a new user, what happens is it just pulls up a success message like the one you're seeing here. And the main issue with this is there is no destination. You can't create a conversion or an event based off a destination URL. Instead, this is called an Ajax form. All the data processing happens behind the scene without the need to refresh the page. And in some cases, it makes it slightly harder to track. So today I'm gonna to talk about how you can set up event visibility triggers using Google Tag Manager, and then push that data into GA4 to set up an event and a conversion action. So if we go into Google Tag Manager here, you can see that I've already set one up previously for this affiliate fish website, but instead I'm gonna create a new one from scratch. So if we go in here, and for now I'm just gonna call it um, event visibility trigger um, create user. Um, again, there's a better naming convention I would typically use depending on the accounts I'm working on, but again, that's okay for now. And then let's go on to event visibility. So first things first, we need to go and work out exactly which ID or CSS selector we need to identify in order to trigger an event. So let's go back onto the Affiliate Fish website. And the first thing we want to do is go in and click inspect element. Again, even if the success code comes below the button, which sometimes it often does, depending on the tech stack that you're working with. But again, it's the same principle. So let's just inspect the element and we can look at something here and we can see this tick here is probably only gonna be associated if something has successfully been processed. And we've got this swole to success here. So let's take this and as we can see, there is no ID here because there is no hashtag. We wanna reference the CSS selector. So let's go back in here and let's test this here. So we can see if we go on to here, let's go on to console and go on to document dot query selector. And then we wanna create a div dot and then put that swell to success, close the commas. And what we can see here is that is pulling this section up. So let's whack that in there for now. CSS selector. Uh, we wanna pull this whole thing through. Div dot, so that's the CSS that we're pulling through. Once per page should be fine in this case is again, if it can be done more than once per page, you can change this and let's put it, let's leave it as 50, which is default, which is fine. Okay, so what we have here is a CSS selector um, for this query that we've seen. So let's actually go back and refresh this page. And um, what will happen is if this isn't submitted correctly, this email already exists, for example, or it fails, if we go on to inspect element and do the console thing, dot query selector, and we do the, uh, it's already saved up here, you can see here that it says no, which means this event isn't gonna be triggered by anything else apart from a success action. Some people just track when the button is clicked, but then again, if the request hasn't been processed, then it's no point in tracking it as a success action or a conversion. So we've got that set up now, which is working nicely. Um, so let's go back to here and we can now associate, we can save this, but I'm not gonna bother because I've already got this set up. So the scar changes and we can see here, um, CSS selector, the same one here. And what we wanna do next is associate it with a tag. So what I've got is an event form submission, you sign up. So I've synced it with our GA4 ultimately. To do this, you can go on and click the GA4 event. Um, you can then associate it with your GA4. So if I was doing this from scratch, I would set up a tag here. Um, I would go on GA4 event, and then I'd set up my configuration tag, whether it's a new tag or not. Discard changes. So I've called um, our event name new sign up, and I've associated it with this trigger. So let's go and test this in preview. 
And what I've got here is a preloaded event trigger. So we can see here, if we go onto this page, then ultimately it hasn't been triggered yet. But if we then go on to, let's create just a admin at test, test.com and oh, actually we need to go on the user. So admin at test, test.com and test. I have to delete these users later. We can hit the create the account button, confirmation link here. And as you can see, this event form submission sign up has now been triggered. So now we've got this successful event listener event triggering only when it's actually been submitted, the information's actually been submitted. So what we do now is we can go into analytics, so GA4 setup, and what we need to do now is configure the event which we've pushed into um, GA4. So if we go into configure, you can see here that we've got the new sign up and it's already been tracking events. And this sometimes can take up to 24 hours to start propagating and pulling through. But again, this doesn't just appear automatically. So what you need to do is go and create an event. You need to click on create and name the event of what you want it to be called in GA4, but then go in the event name equals and then add the value of the tag which you put in here, which for us was new sign up. So whatever the tag was called in here, make sure it has the same naming um, convention within there, including any capitals. And you can see now that we have that as an event and I've done this little um, toggle here, which turns it into a conversion. So when I want to start seeing conversions and all the conversion path analytic reports that I want to pull, this is now included. That's very much how you use event visibility triggers to make sure that you can track Ajax form successfully and only when the data is being submitted, not just on a button click, which we see quite often is how it is set up. Hope you found that useful today, guys. If you did, feel free to subscribe. We talk about B2B, marketing, analytics, growing businesses, and everything else. So have a great week, guys, and see you in the next video.